Hi everybody, I hope you're staying safe through this coronavirus outbreak that we're having. I thought I would make a short video just to give you some of the topics that we're using for remote learning. In a couple of the schools where I teach, uh, the classes have been canceled. So we are teaching our students through video platforms. The one we're using predominantly is Zoom, but of course you can use FaceTime or Skype. So some of the topics include anything on drum pad, rudimental solos, classical solos. Uh, in addition, some soft snare drum uh, sessions would be fantastic. During the year, it doesn't get enough attention. It will not distort in the microphone because it's quite soft, and it gives you a great chance to talk to your students about playing very softly on a snare drum and developing a regular routine on that, which would be extremely helpful. If you do have a marimba at home, playing through your solos is fantastic. Make sure, uh, students, make sure that you set up the microphone a few feet away. That way it will not distort as readily on some of these devices. And also your teachers can see your hands very easily and make comments more, more readily. Both of these instruments offer a, an, op an opportunity to talk about some technical discussions you may not have had before, uh, just specifics on routines and exercises that will really help you. Now that you're gonna be home a little more, you might wanna spend a little more time developing some of these things in the next few weeks. When we get back to normal operations, then you'll be that much more ahead of it. So it's a great chance to do that. Uh, as well, at uh, one of the schools where I teach, we are doing a multi-percussion solo project, a quick one to two minute piece with limited instrumentation to work on some composition ideas and creativity to get around different instruments, different surfaces. Uh, I've asked my students from the beginning to pick instruments they might have at home so they can practice it quite a bit. So this might be a great opportunity to start a project like that and to have instruments available uh, through a video platform to work on some of these things. You can talk about composition, creativity, accessing, uh, you know, uh, playing on different surfaces rather and using different mallets, uh, you know, anything that you would discuss normally with a multiple percussion piece, it's a great chance to do that. Uh, if you're a junior in high school, uh, if you're going to be a senior next year, in other words, it's a great chance to start talking about repertoire for auditions. Some of the pieces you might want to play or it might be out of your range or technical ability at this moment, so it gives you a chance to make a plan to improve certain skills so that maybe in the summer you can learn the piece and be ready to hit the ground running in the fall, uh, as I encourage my students to do. Uh, so this is a great chance to uh, just go through a lot of pieces, uh, listen to things, discuss them with your teacher. Um, it's a terrific opportunity for that. As well, uh, how to record yourself. Have a discussion with your teacher. Uh, what is the procedure that they use? Uh, for example, recording yourself and then later on taking the time to study it, how you would take that apart. And then also developing a strategy for the next day, taking the information that you've learned from the recording and putting a plan in place so that you improve or work on the aspects of the video that were not particularly flattering, as we all have. One key thing to remember is when you record yourself, be prepared to be disappointed. It's normal. But once you get through that, it's actually one of the most useful things you can do. Uh, you can work on score study or part studies for orchestra or chamber music or even solos, uh, just different ways to mark your parts, to study the score, to, um, you know, just make better music, uh, some tips for doing all of that. Uh, your teacher should be a great resource for that. Uh, tuning strategies for timpani, again, which notes go best on certain drums for certain pieces, depending on what kind of color or uh, sound you wanna make. Uh, these are all great discussions to have that sometimes during the course of a regular lesson, we don't have time to address, so that's another topic. Uh, mental practice ideas. This is a fantastic, fantastic thing to talk about. Uh, learning pieces away from your instrument. Um, picturing all the notes in your head, for example, or going to a piano and studying the harmonies of the Murma piece you're doing, if you're doing Bach, for example. Um, seeing how the lines fit together, talk about voice leading, whether it's a contemporary piece or whether it's Bach. Uh, these are all great, great things to think about and study uh, before you learn a piece and even during your development of, of a piece, uh, these are great things to discuss. Your teacher, I'm sure, has fantastic tips for um, learning some of these pieces away from the instrument. Um, as, along the mental uh, practice ideas line, uh, 
it might be a great time to get involved with a little bit of meditation to improve your focus so that all your practice sessions are even better. And certainly your performances will be more solid and, and you know, uh, more musical and just, you know, more focused. So this is a great chance to find out maybe about a little meditation. You know, maybe implement a five minute routine per day, see how it feels, um, breathing exercises as well. These are all fantastic things that are gonna improve your focus and therefore your performance on anything from studying mathematics to reading books to playing music. Uh, timpani tuning ideas and ear training ideas. Uh, it's a great thing to talk about. You can work on, all you need is a tuning fork really to work on it at home. Um, if you have timpani around, fantastic. If not, you can still work on things that will make you a better uh, timpani player um, uh, with regard to tuning. So these are all things you can discuss with your teacher as well. Improving your sense of time. Uh, taking a piece in 4-4, four, four, for example, of course, putting the chord notes on the metronome, then putting the half notes, then putting the whole notes. These are all things we use. Uh, putting the metronome so it's, it's the second 16th note or it's the off beats or taking a clave rhythm and playing your exercises, your snare drum exercises with a clave rhythm or a certain piece and playing it with a clave rhythm instead of a, uh, a metronome that marks only quarter notes. These are all things that are very helpful. In the past, before we had super advanced metronomes, when I was a student, I used to put uh, um, a click track with headphones on and then with brushes I would play sort of a groove pattern that fit whatever solo I was playing but the 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 headphones the click track in my headphones would keep the time consistent so as a result I would I would play back the track I had created and play my solo to that I, I feel like it really improved my feel and it made me think of time in a different way so that's always a fantastic thing to to use as well uh, and lastly, uh, you know, make videos. Make a video for yourself to understand what you're doing, but also send it to other musicians or send it to your teacher. If you're playing a, if you're playing a, a box solo, a violin partita or sonata, a movement from that, for example, send it to a violin colleague and let them give you some feedback that way, you know. Uh, take advantage of, of what's going on now in the sense of developing new ideas and, and uh, new strategies for practicing and for playing. I think it'll really pay off once you get back to your normal routine. You can keep a lot of these and you'll see that it'll really bolster and improve your practice sessions and your performances. So I hope these help. Uh, if you have any great ideas, please send them along. I'm always looking for other creative ways to to practice and also to teach and, and, and especially during this time to do both of these things uh, through a video medium if we need to. All right, stay healthy, take care.